If your man keeps cheating despite you forgiving him so many times, you've called this man aside, you've caught him so many times, you've discussed this issue, he's come, he's asked for forgiveness, he's shown that he's quite remorseful, and then after a couple of days, a couple of weeks, this guy is back into the habits again. That means there's something that needs to be done. Because this person looks like he's actually addicted. Now, these are the steps that you need to take moving forward. Number one, you need to protect yourself mentally. Because anytime cheating happens, many questions arise and you start asking yourself, what did I do wrong? What is it that this guy is finding in other women that I'm not able to provide? And this affects people psychologically. So the first thing you need to do is to guard your heart, guard your mind. Now the Bible says in Proverbs 4 verse 23, Above all else, guard your heart, for it is a wellspring of life. Number two, you need to protect yourself sexually, because you never know this guy might infect you with an STD. Diseases might come from these different women that he's sleeping with. So you need to protect yourself sexually. Remember, anytime someone does this, this is utter foolishness. He's ruining his own soul. The Bible says in Proverbs 6 verse 32, But the man who commits adultery is an utter fool, for he destroys his own soul. And number three, protect yourself financially. Now, anytime adultery is involved, cheating is involved, money is also spent. Because how are you going to cheat without money? All your resources, all your family savings might be going out there to ladies. Now, the question is this, what will you do if all the money runs out. So you need to start protecting yourself financially. If you're investing together, start pulling back. Start figuring out how can you sustain yourself in case you separate. Because with this habit, most likely the two of you will not be together. Most likely the two will go separate direction. So start thinking how can you protect yourself financially. Now the Bible says in Proverbs 6 verse 26, For a prostitute will bring you to poverty, and sleeping with another man's wife may cost you your very life. Number four. At this point, you need to refer him to a counselor because what's happening here, this is an addiction. This is a problem. This is a trauma that this guy is going through and he needs to be helped. Remember, this is someone that you love. He just needs help at this point. This is not him operating. This is an addiction that is actually operating in him. So you get him a counselor. Now the Bible says in Proverbs 11 verse 14, where there is no wise guidance, the nation falls. But in the multitude of counselors there is victory number five if after counseling for a period of time and this guy nothing is shifting you need to refer him for deliverance prayers I'll tell you why because now there is a spirit that is actually behind this person. There is a demonic force that is actually operating in this person. This person has confessed. He said that he wants to change, but nothing is changing. Now there is a spirit that needs to be cast out that is operating in this person. Any unclean spirit leads into sexual immorality, into lust, into all these adultery things that happens. He needs to be prayed for. Galatians 5 verse 1. It is for freedom that Christ has set us free. Stand firm then and do not let yourself be burdened again by a yoke of slavery. Psalms 107 verse 6. Then they cried out to the Lord in their trouble and he delivered them from their distress. Number six. Now you also need to give him space so that he can figure out himself. There are things you can never change people. You can change yourself but you can never change another person. You need to give him time so that he'll find himself and when he's ready, most likely you can think about whether to bring him back into your life or no. So let him figure out himself and submit himself to God. Now the Bible says in James 4 verse 7, Submit yourselves then to God. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. Remember, the devil cannot flee from you unless you first submit yourself to God. If there is anyone that is addicted into cheating, because this is an addiction now, this is a spirit that is operating this person, the first thing they need to do is to first submit themselves to God and then he will be able to resist. But if not 
if he cannot resist right now, it's because he has not submitted himself to God. The Bible says that God will never give you a temptation that you can never overcome. And even if it comes, he will give you the grace to actually overcome this temptation.